Justin, what do you make of, I guess, a close loss right in the clutches of the game? Uh, it was it was a well-fought game. Uh, Southeast did a good job, uh, you know, being physical, coming back, and after being in the hole, uh, I felt they at the end of the day they wanted it more, and they found a way to pull it out. What did you make of you guys' execution late in the game in particular? Um, it was sporadic, you know, um, but at the end of the day, we just coming off plan for Thursday, and I can see a little fatigue in some of my guys with their decision making and their legs, and that probably was a little reason behind it. But at the end of the day, we got to do better. Are you satisfied and happy with Tyler Harvey taking, I guess, that last inbound in that play? Uh, yeah, I mean, they 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 they, they, uh, they guarded pretty well, um, and so you know we we had to take the shot that was given to us, and with two seconds left. Talk us through the mindset coming into this game off the back of you know a massive fever break. It was a game that we felt that we had the momentum to win. So it was uh, it was something that we wanted to come out here and play well and, and, and still won in Melbourne. 17 turnovers tonight. How do you clean that up? Oh, uh, you try not to turn it over. I mean, that's, that's about the best you can do. Play another game and try not to have 17. How do you feel you guys are looking systematically? Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We have our ups and downs. But uh, at the end of the day, we come to work ready to you know improve after a loss, something like this, and find ways not to do it again. Talks. I mean, someone like Max Appealing, you know, waiting to get his moment. When he does, he, you know, steps up to the occasion. Um, Mace is a high intangible guy. He's lo low maintenance, high reward. Um, he does his job. He's a great communicator. He's physical. So he's somebody that can that definitely helps our, our unit out while he's out there on the floor. Talking takes through the decision to, you know, start him over someone like Darius Davis. Was that Darius going to you saying, you know, hey, I want to come off the bench? No, nah, nah, it was what's best for our team and what's best with Darius second. And so um, Darius has d decent showing today, 18 and nine. So uh, you know, and we, but we got to find a way to win the game. So it wasn't nothing that Darius specifically said. It was it was anything that we do with this Hawks team is to find ways to win game. I mean, you were only what, one shot off a three ball off winning the game, and you shot 50 percent from the field all night. What do you take from that perspective in terms of you know heading into the next one? I uh, just got to find a way to get to the free throw line a little bit more and take care of the ball. But you know, we we have some positives that we can build off this game. Um, and so we're we just going to figure out what they are, and we got some negatives that we got to clean up. What do you take away from those positives, or what are those positives in general? Uh, the positives is coming back, starting off with a, you know, starting our first quarter off pretty well. You know, we came out and on being on the road, you don't want to start in the hole. And then, um, so, you know, clearly some of our negatives is finishing the game, but, you know, we, we just, said, we like everybody else, trying to find ways to be consistent. How do you find that consistency from game to game, I suppose, to be one of those top? Genuine championship uh, you know, I wish we could play a lot more games so we don't have to wait weeks and weeks to play. But uh, just to do that, you know, we just got to make sure we guys understand what their roles are and when they do uh, have an opportunity to take advantage of it. And, you know, just find be on the same page because sometimes, you know, we as basketball players, you, you want to kind of do your own thing here and there. And it, sometimes guys don't see that that messes up the chemistry if you had something going. But with us, it's just like, you know, just getting back to the drawing board. I, I felt my guys gave me their best effort. Uh, but it could have been a lot better. But at the end of the day, I'm, you know, we're going to get back to it on Tuesday. Coach, just takes back to Tyler. He hits that two and then hits the three to tie it up and then ball gets a little bit stuck and you call that timing. I think it was about with a minute 40 to go. Were you seeing that as guys are fatigued, so they're tired and the decision-making kind of, you know, kind of they all tighten up a little bit and it doesn't go through your hands? And, and what's the messaging in that timeout to try and get them to move the pill and, and get going? Um, you know, most of the guys realize that, you know, especially the guys from the bench, they kind of tell the guys what they see from, from on, the, on the bench side. So we just got to get those guys on the floor to recognize it. But once again, you know, some guys understand what shot they can make, uh, you know, on the court. And Tyler's one of those guys, you know, Trey's one of those guys. We got multiple guys like that. But we also got to find out, you know, we want to help you. We want everybody else out there to help you get those shots as well. So once again, it's just learning how to play with each other and learning where other guys', guys spots are and, and figure it out then. JT, what did you make of the first quarter? I mean, you guys are the number one offensive rated team in the first quarter. The South East averaging holding teams to 90.1 on the defensive end, the number one defensive rated team for the first quarter. What did you make of that, I guess, coming in as a point of view? Man, you ran them stats out pretty good, didn't you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not really worried about the first quarter. It's the fourth. You know, I understand about, you know, like ratings and, you know, we score a lot of points here and there, but it's about the stops with me. So, um, you know, clearly we was on path what our normal first quarter is, but once again, that fourth quarter is not in our favor. How do you close out games stronger then? 
how I close out. Too. How do you close out games, Stronger? I mean, kept it to 10 to 15 points away at a distance for the whole game. Uh, you know, we're, we're playing against professionals, so, you know, we know that we're, they're not going to give up or, uh, you know, quit easily. So we just got to do better finishing games. I mean, there's multiple things I can say about it, but we just got to do better.